Hello, um, sorry if my camera is wobbly. I don't have a, I don't know what it's called, that's it. So special appearance for me today uh, because it's a special video. Today we have a two in one video because I'm squeezing in the prompt thunder and frog in this one because they're both digital entries and that's new. It's very exciting. And since they are digital, they're also much shorter. So you'll understand soon enough. I don't have anything else to add except that it's almost Christmas and I don't know where the time has gone. Um, I'll continue to upload my videos even though October has long since passed. I already have the footage. I put so much time and energy into recording it so I might as well continue to share my paintings and my processes with you. I hope you enjoy it and yeah, let's start with Thunder. So first things first, I am not used to digital art. So even though it might look fast, it's just my editing. Um, my actual workflow is much slower. Like I was constantly undoing my line art. My other hand was constantly hovering the screen and on the ready to undo a stroke. As for the process, the line art is the first step when I work digitally. I sketch on paper and then I take a photo using my iPad and basically trace the sketch. The app that I'm using here is called Adobe Fresco and it's pretty nice. I would recommend you to try it out if you haven't and if you've got an iPad, of course. This prompt 
Thunder was a bit frustrating for me because I remember having a very similar prompt last year. I think it was Storm and as I said before, I like variation, so I try to not do the exact same thing again. In the end, I went ahead with this sketch because I think Thunder can be kind of cozy if you are nuzzled up inside and staying warm and dry, as she is with her cats. Have I said I like cats? Well, I do, if it wasn't obvious. Um, the color scheme ended up being fairly similar to Storm after all, and I was actually close to using watercolors for this prompt, but I didn't have the time to prepare the sketch and mix all of the colors before having to upload it on the next day. So I went ahead with my iPad. Since I was doing it digitally, I also had the opportunity to animate this using Procreate, which is another iPad app. It's really nice. Um, I personally love animations, uh, so it's really fun to be able to incorporate a simple one here. it's time for frog. This is the direct time lapse from the app Adobe Fresco, so it's much more compressed on its own. And that's why it's a two-in-one video. Funnily enough, I already painted a frog last year for the prompt lily pad, so I wanted to be creative and use an unconventional color palette as well as another unconventional frog pose. And I think it turned out really nice in my own humble opinion. I want to thank you for watching, I hope you like it, and I'll see you in the next one, it's gonna be exciting. Peace!